So those who have uh, been with this channel a little while may have already seen the uh, Boba Fett Holiday Special build I did out of EVA foam, but now I think it's time to upgrade it. Now having used foam X for Matt's custom Mandalorian as well as the Mandalorian costume I'm working on, I thought with the spare bits I have, let's upgrade the armor. The Holiday Boba Fett has quite simple armor, especially compared to its film counterpart. So basically I'm gonna take what I've already made out of the foam and use them as templates to cut parts out of Fomex. I get my Fomex from eBay, it's a brand called Pal Foam. And we're gonna repaint some bits, change up the colors, probably add a little bit more on the helmet. I just wanna kind of bring it up a level because it's a cool costume to wear and it doesn't really get to come out much. So obviously here's an example of one of the foam pieces. This is a chest piece, it was originally in three parts but didn't sit very well. So it's uh, currently in one. As you can see, we've got some uh, creases from uh, the wear and tear of it, which is the problem with using the thin foam. You know, of course, if it bends out of shape, you've got some cracking of the paint too. The only thing I'll be keeping foam is the, the cod piece and the belt, because I need it to be flexible and move. So obviously when I'm bending over, the foam needs to be able to move too, otherwise it's kind of restricting.
All right, so we've cut some of our bits out here. Uh, I've gone ahead and uh, sanded the edge with the Dremel and just cleaned it up a little bit by hand as well on these pieces and then glued them together with a couple of bits on the back. So now they're all together, what we can do is uh, heat form this piece. Uh, so this is gonna be obviously our replacement chest, but we're gonna heat form the other bits first before we sand the edges, because sometimes when you've got, because it's a slightly different texture on the uh, outside of uh, Fomet, like on the surface, than it is to the inside when you cut it. So uh, what I had with the Mandalorian was some pieces when you heated it, like the edges would curl up a little bit. So you've got to re-sand those again. So obviously, make sure you wear a mask that um, is suitable for vapours because this stuff really smells when you heat form it, which is not good for you. So just go around, sand all the edges and get stuff ready uh, for paint. been sanded down on the edges so we've got some nice rounded parts. Make sure they're uh, not dusty and we're going to take them outside and just spray them with a normal primer. So we've got our armor all painted up now. You can see sort of the final effect. I've just gone over this one with a uh, matte lacquer just to take some of the shine away. And it's come out really nice. I'm really pleased with how this armor looks. I do kind of like the sort of sunburst effect. It's quite a nice, easy effect to be able to achieve with spray paints. Obviously, this is something you'd ideally do with an airbrush. So now there's just a couple more details to be added on just paint-wise. So I've just got some matte black. And same as I did with the original armor of my Holiday Special Boba Fett, certain parts are just going to have like a black outline just to kind of resemble sort of like the animation a little bit more. Okay, so next up, I do know your reputation, you need to turn off now. All right, so next up, uh, we've got our holiday special helmet. That's obviously already been made. Uh, I made this out of a uh, 2000s Hasbro Boba Fett helmet, so not the new Black Series that came out, or the one that's got like the really chunky visor that came out like the same time as the Clone Trooper helmet did all them years ago. So there's a separate video on me making that into a Boba Fett helmet, so like the uh, the typical Boba Fett uh, color scheme. 
And then uh, there's a previous video of how I repainted that and turned it into the holiday special one because when I made it into the Boba Fett I noticed that uh, the visor kind of went into the shape naturally so I thought, oh that looks like the holiday special bucket so I sanded all the old paint down and repainted it into this. But you can see over the years there's some cracks and stuff have been forming. Um, there's just this seam here which is visible on camera I kind of just want to redo as well so we're just going to sand everything down um, reinforce some bits. Uh, some people have asked me again what to use to just reinforce like the seams. Just a load of super glue on the inside just to keep the seams together. I see there's a little bit of fillers falling out there so we just need to make sure that everything's kind of stuck together nicely. Sand it all down. Um, I'm probably going to end up gluing this in place because this keeps falling out because it's had it's been sanded down but with sort of just the extra thickness of the paint. I mean it goes in flat but sometimes it doesn't take much for it to come off. So it'd probably be better just being glued in, which means it'd be difficult to transport the helmet if I'm packing it in with a load of stuff, so it'll just have to be transported on its own, but I'd rather that stay on than having to worry about that constantly falling off an event. Alright, so I don't want to remake the holster, but I do want to make it a little better, so I've just taken off the straps. And what I've got here is uh, some fake uh, leather, just got it from eBay, so some nice textured stuff. So basically what I'm going to do is just wrap the holster and glue bits in place, then reattach the straps and probably give it um, a slightly orangey wash again, just sort of match the other colours that are going on with the costume. Alright, another detail that's going to be replaced is this, which is uh, the braid that uh, on my old armour is just glued under the front, but in the holiday special it's a braid that runs around the top of the shoulder. So for the old one I just use uh, an old bit of wig, and for the new one I got some of this, which is really really bright, so we're going to have to spray it and tone it down. But it's this uh, sort of it's slightly stretchy braided cord, again just got this off eBay. So I'm just going to figure out what length I want it to be, cut three lengths of that out and plait them together and then on one of the ends here I'm going to start unbraiding it so we've got sort of like this sort of long fluffy bit sticking out and we should have a cool looking shoulder braid. Alright, so here's our little braid now. I've just gone over it with a bit of um, red spray paint just to darken the colour down a little bit. 
and sort of undone all the ends so we've got this sort of floofy bit and plaited it a little bit more so now we've just got to attach it to the shoulder so i kind of want it sitting around about here and i think the easiest way would be probably just to hide a zip tie inside the braid and then glue the zip tie underneath just so it's attached at that bit and it's not just glued directly to the armor Alright, so this is what we got so far. Everything is pretty much done apart from the helmet. So we're keeping the gauntlets, we've repainted the belt, I'm keeping the same boots, repainted the jetpack as well. There is one small extra on the boots that we've just uh, attached the spikes to a strip of uh, EVA foam which is glued to the boot rather than the spikes being glued straight onto it because I did have a habit of coming off. So you can see it's it's got a lot of super glue around there to try and keep it in place so hopefully this will mean that it's a, a little bit more sturdy and because uh, they're in a slightly different position hopefully I won't catch them as much as I used to so I shouldn't have to worry too much about them falling off now but everything else has been redone in the Fomex uh, oh we're keeping the same cape as well just uh, added a little bit more sort of colour to it with some spray paints and you see the difference between the colour of this here and the colour of the old armour this one looks so much nicer I have added a strip of velcro to the inside of the knee plate uh, just because uh, they were slowly slipping down because you see these are a little bit heavier than EVA foam so they want to move around a bit more so just adding the velcro on the inside there and adding a bit of velcro onto the knee of the undersuit or the flight suit uh, just means that they're going to stay in place and obviously they've got the elastic strap to keep them on as well uh, the only uh, big difference in terms of the strapping that I've done now is um, just changed up how the jetpack sits so before on my old armor the straps are actually attached to the back of uh, the uh, sort of this is the neck piece that sits on my shoulders so the original one the straps were glued to this I found even with a lightweight jetpack as you can see there's the other clips on that side it would pull and dig into the bottom of my neck a little bit which uh, was quite uncomfortable sometimes so I've just gone and cut a hole in the back of here and on the back of my flight suit stitched on a strip of webbing so basically when you put the shoulder pieces on uh, you feed the webbing through the hole and then you feed the other side of the del ring clip onto here and then clip the backpack to there so obviously this is now something I can't do myself but it's a lot more comfortable not having an armor piece dig into your neck okay so now it is time to actually attach it to the suit so we've already got our velcro on our base suit so we just need to actually attach the other side of the velcro to the armor make sure everything sits right and then just a little bit more work to do on the helmet and it should be ready to go. All right, so here's our finished helmet now sealed in um, matte sealant. Just done some outlines in black, but not too many. And just takes it up a notch from what the original holiday special paint job was on here. So now we finally get to take the tape off of the visor and uh, put in a new uh, insert of window tint behind it because the visor on the Hasbro helmets are really light so you can actually see the person underneath. So a bit of window tint is normally a good way to fix that. And then we are done. So there you go, that's my upgraded holiday special Boba Fett armour. It really needed it and we had enough leftovers from the Mandalorian costume to do it well and I had enough paint left over too that I didn't have to go out and spend too much on getting some new bits. So the holiday special Fett has only been out twice, so now it's looking a lot nicer. I do want to take him out more often because it's really not often you see holiday special Fets and if you do, 
It's normally a standard Boba Fett armor kit repainted in these colors rather than armor to look like what it does look in the animated show. But you know, I like to be different and I do like Boba Fett and it all started from modifying the Hasbro helmet and the visor looked like the holiday special version, so kind of naturally progressed from there. But if you want to see sort of the suit in more detail and how I made a lot of the parts that are already done, uh, you can check out a video on making the holiday special Boba Fett. There's also a separate video of uh, repainting the first version of the holiday special helmet and also a video on modifying the Hasbro helmet uh, to a closer sort of screen accurate Boba Fett. It's not brilliant, the colours aren't right and stuff, it's just a, just a demonstration to show you what you can do if you modify the old Hasbro helmets. Obviously now we've got the new Black Series ones out which are much better, but with the old Hasbro helmet I've I'm so happy to get this visor shape because it's it's just perfect. I don't know if anyone does holiday special kits, they might do. That's a thing to look out for. So as always, thank you very much for watching. Special thank you, I forgot to go out to my supporters on Patreon, especially to Jeff Kelly. If you want to support me on Patreon, the links as always are at the end of my video and in the description down below. Just the bit of money I get really helps with buying stuff to, uh, to upgrade and make new costumes with, so it just helps me keep some videos going. Obviously, you don't have to. Just subscribe if you like what you see, share my videos with friends, all that helps too. So take care out there, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next video, and as always, May the Force be with you.